Hello everyone. Welcome to the course NoSQL in Data Science. In this we will see columnar databases. So what is need of columnar database in NoSQL? The columnar data model of NoSQL is very important. NoSQL databases are different from SQL databases. This is because it uses a data model that has different structure than the previously followed row and column table model used with relational database management system. NoSQL databases are flexible schema model which is designed to scale horizontally across many servers and is used in large volumes of data. Basically, the relational databases store data in rows and also reads the data row by row. Column store is organized as a set of columns. So if someone wants to run analytics on a small number of columns, one can read those columns directly without consuming memory with the unwanted data. Columns are somehow are of the same type and gain from more efficient compression which makes reads faster than before. Examples of columnar data model are Cassandra and Apache Hadoop HBase. Working of columnar data model. In columnar data model, instead of organizing information into rows, it does in columns. This makes them function the same way that tables work in the relational databases. This type of data model is much more flexible obviously because it is a type of NoSQL database. Let us see here the below example will help in understanding the columnar data model. Here first we can see row oriented table. This is normal table with the rows and columns. It is like normal table used in relational database systems. Here we are having serial number, name, course, branch, ID, which are the columns. Then the rows are 0, 1, 2, 4. So column wise, you are having records according to row. Then coming to column oriented table as shown below. Here you can see the first table you are having serial number, name, ID. Then the second table serial number, course ID. Then the third table serial number, branch ID. Here you can see all these three tables here. The columns are given separately. Each column is identified by a unique number. Here ID is used. So these are all column wise separated. So you can read according to column wise. These are all column oriented tables. Columnar data models uses the concept of key space, which is like a schema in relational models. What are the advantages of, advantages of columnar data models? First of all, well structured since these data models are good at compression. So these are very structured or well organized in terms of storage. The next advantage is flexibility. A large amount of flexibility as it is not necessary for the columns to look like each other. Which means one can add new and different columns without disrupting the whole database. The next advantage is aggregation queries are fast. The most important thing is aggregation queries are quite fast because a majority of the information is stored in a column. An example would be adding up the total number of students enrolled in one year. The next advantage is scalability. It can be spread across large clusters of machines, even numbering in thousands. Next feature is load time. Since one can easily load a row table in a few seconds, so load times are nearly excellent. 
there are some drawbacks of columnar data model also the first one designing indexing schema to design an effective and working schema is too difficult and very time consuming the next drawback is sub optimal data loading incremental data loading is sub optimal and must be avoided but this might not be an issue for some users the next one security vulnerabilities if security is one of the priorities then it must be known that the columnar data model lacks inbuilt security features in this case one must look into relational databases in this case the next drawback is online transaction processing oltp online transaction processing applications are also not compatible with the columnar data model because of the way data is stored let us see applications of columnar data model columnar data model is very much used in various blogging platforms it is also used in content management systems like wordpress joomla etc it is used in systems that maintain counters it is also used in systems that require heavy write request it is also used in services that have expiring uses let us see the comparison of column oriented versus row oriented databases with respect to some operations first operation aggregate calculation of single column example sum of price in column oriented database it is very fast whereas in row oriented databases it is slow next operation is compression at column oriented database higher as stores similar data together not applicable in row oriented database next operation retrieval of a few columns from a table with many columns is faster in column oriented database in row oriented databases has to skip over unnecessary data next operation insertion or updating of single new record is slow in column oriented database whereas fast in row oriented database next operation retrieval of a single record is slow in column oriented database and fast in row oriented database these are all the comparison of column oriented versus row oriented databases